station. So, with the coronavirus around and everyone's talking about masks, it got me wondering, what are the properties of masks and what makes them work? So, I did a lot of research figuring out how to make a mask and what, how they work, really. So, the obvious question is... The obvious question is, what are you going to do with all this research? I'm going to make a mask. So, in this video, we're going to be making um, more like a gas mask, less like a um, small surgical mask. So, I'll show you how to do that in this video. Okay, so here are the materials that we think you're going to need. So what we're going to be using is um, a two-liter bottle or some sort of a bottle for our main base. So that would be the part that would be like up on our face. Um, we're going to be using a flipper. This would be our sealer. Um, this was an old kind of broken one. Um, we're going to be using some goggle straps. These goggles were broken. Um, we're going to be using some wire and a um, wire cutter and an X-Acto knife some gloves so that I don't cut my fingers, um, maybe a little can, this would be the part that would clip in and would be, we'd put our filter system in here. Um, and then we're going to use some filters. This is a coffee filter, a furnace filter, and an old fish filter. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut along this line on our two liter bottle. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to poke a hole in here and I'm going to get the, um, there we go. And now that I've got that hole, I'm gonna cut along the tape line that we made. This makes it a lot easier to cut around circles because all I wanna do is get squished. Okay, so um, we just kinda figured out how we're gonna make this all work. What we're gonna do is make some one-way valves. This is so that when we breathe out, the air doesn't have to travel back through our filters. So um, we already made one here and we're gonna show you how to make them. We also are going to make, we're going to make three, one, so that it can leave um, the air, like our exit port, and then we're going to make two filters with, um, we have these medicine bottles that will be our, we'll stick the filters in there. So um, we're going to need three, one for the exit, and two for the going in. So um, we're going to show you how to make that right okay, now. Okay, so now we're going to be making our little valve. So how we're going to do that is you're going to take a small cap and a big cap. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a um, small drill and put a hole through the um, little uh, the little cap. Then you're going to take that same drill, put a hole through the big cap. This is so that you can put a screw through both of them. Then on the big cap, you're going to put a few larger holes going around the outside. So then what you're going to do is take a little bit of a nitrile glove, so that would be like these kind of plasticky gloves, and you are going to put it right here. So you're going to um, push it through. Um, you could put a little hole through it first with like a pin or something, um, and then you're going to push that down in there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get a um, nut and put it into there. Now Finn, we did try some things that weren't nitro gloves that did not work very well. If it was too, th if it was too stiff, it didn't work. We tried some transparency slides and some other pieces of plastic. Yeah, and none of those really seemed to work, but what worked best was this um, nitro glove, the really thin stuff. Um, because it just has that, um, like it, it's really easy to block an airway because it shifts so easily. So next what you're gonna do is after you have that nut in there is you're gonna put the um, next cap in. And once you have that cap in, you're gonna put another nut and you're done. So, um, and before you put this in your mask, I would definitely recommend putting it up to your mouth and testing it. So um, this should be a, um, a valve that when I breathe into it, when the air is going through it this way, it can go through, but it can't come through back like this way. So I should be able to breathe out, but it can't breathe back in. <sighs> yep, it definitely works. So what we're gonna <laughs> so what we're gonna do is um, make another one of these, and then we're gonna make one to go at the bottom of um, this. So this will this one will be one for our um, sides with these so that we can um this one will be like for the filter and then we'll make one at the bottom with a slightly larger cap that will go at the bottom here for our exhalation port all right so we're going to make more of those and we'll check back okay after that. so we just finished making our one-way valves so um these are working really well um we tested them now and we also got a hole in our um, thing now we're gonna make our filter but before we do that I want to say that this works really well but um, this 
idea, you can breathe. If the air is going this way, it um, can flow through this way, but it can't come back through this way. So that's going to be, um, you know, we can breathe in, but we can't push the air back out. Um, and we just flip the cap design for our bottom one right here. So now what we're going to do is glue um, this onto our cap so that we're able to breathe in and it's going to go through the filter that I'm going to put in here right now. Okay, so we just finished making our filters. And um, so I made two different types. I made the um, tighter filters. So these have a lot more um, filter stuff in them. So we used um, some furnace filter and some coffee filter. Um, and we packed it all together like very, very tight so that these ones would be like super duper secure. They could probably even block out some gas. Um, but they are pretty hard to breathe through. So then we also made the loose packs, which still would probably block coronavirus. And um, they're just a lot easier to breathe through. So that's why we made both. So that if we're in a more extreme situation, we can go with the tighter packs. But if we're in a not as extreme situation, then we can go with the loose packs. Um, but anyway, we decided we'd make two different types of filters because they're super easy to just pop into our um, one-way valves. So I can pop in a tight pack and then really easily I can just pop in a loose one. Um, so that's why we decided to make a few different ones. Okay, so um, now that you understand how our filters work, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut two holes in our um, our masks so that um, we can put our one-way valves in. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so we just got the holes in there um, and it looks pretty great. The filters can pop out, but um, before we do that, we are gonna need to do a little sealer around here. So I'm just gonna use some hot glue and um, seal those up. Okay, so we just finished making our one-way valves and um, they're working really well. But now it's time to make our seal. And I have tried a ton of different things on this. We tried using a plastic bottle and shaping it to figure out how to get that seal. Um, we've tried using silicone and none of that really seems to be working. So I figured, you know what, when I'm struggling, I need to go back to my favorite medium, duct tape. So we're gonna be making a duct tape seal. So I already kind of started on this. So the basic idea is that we get a strip of duct tape that's long enough to go around your mouth. We used a little bit of 18 gauge wire and um, so that, that makes this duct tape like stretchy and it can hold its shape so it can fit around your nose and we can adjust it depending on who's wearing the mask. And I think that's a really key factor is that this um, has to adjust to fit your face. Um, so then I decided um, when I put it on, this works really great, but it's not very comfortable. So I used some um, fabric from a little bit of a shirt and um, we just kind of covered around the edges and we're covering that in duct tape with little pieces at a time because otherwise there will be wrinkles in it. And if there's wrinkles, then there's a gap and air can get in. So um, we've just been kind of covering this in um, the fabric, but this is going to be really comfortable and it's a good seal. And it should work because duct tape is watertight and you use yeah. it on duct work, which is air. So um, it's waterproof, airproof, and that should definitely work for our masks, because especially because it's flexible. So we're gonna fit this to this, and we're gonna finish putting the fabric. We'll check back in after that. Okay, so we just finished making that seal, and um, we finished padding it. And I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, so we tr we're gonna try first without our filters on. We're gonna try with. Um, two just regular bottle caps. Um, these ones don't have holes at the bottom, so there's no way air will go through. And theoretically, if it works, um, what should happen is it should start collapsing in on itself because it'll start making a vacuum in there, so this will start shrinking in. Added bonus, you sound like Darth Vader. Looks good, Finn. All right, yeah. now let's, let's put some straps and finish the look on this thing. All right. Okay, so we just finished the max mask and I did a little bit of coating with my LED. Um, I mean my Adreno. And when I press this button, the um, lights go on in there and it looks totally cool. So anyway, um, what I did was I took my mask, I covered it in cardboard. Um, this piece I made out of a little bit of strap and um, just covered it in cardboard, made it look cool. 
but it kind of looks a little boring and completely cardboardy. So I think I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so we just finished making the mask and the lights and everything are looking super cool. So when you flip on the lights and off, it's just like an all around really, really cool mask. Um, and I did kind of forget to say this in the video, but you obviously do not have to make this whole mask just for, um, to get the filtration. So you just have to do like the bottle part with the duct tape seal and the filters, um, and the one way valves. But we just added all this extra stuff because we thought it looked really cool, and it um, for sure does. But anyway, I really like this mask. Me too. And that mask kind of reminds me of kind of like Kylo Ren or Darth Vader. Darth Vader? That reminds me of a joke. Oh, no. How is Darth Vader fed with his big mask on? I don't know, Finn. That's a good question. He's force-fed, you know, like with the force. dun dun, dun. <laughs> Whatever. If you liked that joke and the video, leave a like down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.